There's a whole bunch of people out there who are horrified, mortified by social media. They seem to me just propagandized because I just spent 10 minutes on social media and I learned a whole lot more than Trump's a bad, bad dude and if you don't vote for our party, we're gonna throw y'all in jail. I mean, that's essentially all I learned from watching TV today. Anyway, I just realized today after watching the level of cray-cray that is the McAlberts of Canton, which has now resulted in the death of a Boston cop, the next case that we'll probably be covering is going to be this one right here. So let's have a scroll and see what I learned on X today. Let's start with this psycho chicken. Some of you had asked me who she was, and I had actually forgotten what her relationship was in the Albert scheme of things. But first, here's a little reminder from a previous video, just so we're all on the same track. Hello? Yeah, live the tape. Hi, is this Jill? It's Turtle Boy. It's Turtle Boy. Is this Jill Daniels? Oh. What are you doing, Jill? I I'm just... What are you doing? Are you at all worried that your your godson, uh, Colin, is going to go to jail? Do you understand that Colin wasn't even there? Do you understand you're a fucking piece of shit? Really? Do you understand you're going to jail? Uh, why am I going to jail for? You want to know? Okay, can we have a conversation right now? Yeah, let's have a fucking yeah. turtle. Yeah, let's have a conversation. So, so what what is your evidence that Colin wasn't there? He's on live. He's on live right now. Hello? Yeah, who's this? Go oh, fuck yourself, you fucking homo. Who's that? Just a little warning. Jill Daniels screaming actually peaked out my sound card a couple of times. So you're probably going to hear some static in the background. Hey, go to hell. Back. Go fucking take care of your kids, you fucking loser. I, go away. You loser? Who, who are you? Is this Julie? Okay, here we go. Third time lucky. Seriously, what do you want with me? I just want to know one thing. I know that Terry Reed is a fucking killer. Why do you keep calling me? Why don't you get a life and fucking focus on your I children? I just want to know one thing. So what evidence do you have that Colin wasn't there? Where's the What evidence okay, do you have? What evidence do you have that he was there? The, Brian, okay, Brian Albert's grand jury testimony said okay, that he was there. Okay, okay, Tom Beatty and Aaron Beatty, guess what? No, Beattie. Brian Albert said that. Brian Albert you said that Colin was in the house. You think you're so right about everything? I know I'm right. I've seen it. No, you're not. I have the documents. I'm looking at it right now. Who is it, dude? You're the biggest fucking piece of shit. How am I a piece of shit? Your son. No, fuck you. Shut the fuck up for once in your fucking life. You don't know how to shut up. You think you're the biggest fucking bully? Colin was not there. And you're going to look like a fucking piece of shit. Where was he? What what where, what evidence do you have? Can you ever shut up? Can you ever shut up? Okay, let's have a conversation. So shut the fuck up. For once in your life, can you shut up? Okay. You are the biggest friggin' piece of trash in the world. You get kicks off of getting Karen Reed picked on and killed him. You freaking get money off of this. You are a sick human being. You know and before you go off claiming that this is some kind of bad behavior, let me remind you that your media has come to Australia twice now that I can remember and turn two of our most infamous murder trials into a fucking circus. That would be Lindy Chamberlain of the Dingo Ate My Baby infamy, where somehow your journalists didn't understand that tourists feeding the animals makes the animals go back to that location for food. Shock and horror. And the second being the Peter Falconio murder, where your journalists not only harass that poor girl over the phone who had been held hostage by the perpetrator and almost murdered herself, but they also stalked her, they stalked her family, they stalked anyone that knew them, friends, the whole works. How many witness intimidation charges do you think your journalists got when they were harassing the witnesses in the Peter Falconio trial? Not a single one. And all these years later, guess who it is out there combing the desert still looking for his remains? It ain't your media, it's that poor girl that they harassed and stalked. So don't sit there and tell me that Aidan Kearney's doing something different to what your media actually does every other murder case. 
you may get from my tone that I don't really like this kind of behaviour from the paparazzi, but it is what it is and it's perfectly legal in both our countries. Anyway, I do digress. This psycho chicken that you just heard screaming at Aiden Kearney over the phone is the same psycho chicken that whapped out of a car today and attacked him. Thankfully, Colin Albert reminded me that that's his aunt, as in Julie Albert's sister. He also inadvertently advised us that he's on roids. Turns out I have a little bit of experience of people spontaneously combusting on roids. A couple of years ago, some dude followed my landlord home after some kind of road rage incident and beat the living daylights out of him in our garage. Long story short, I was home, saved his life, guy's in jail. Cause that's what roids do. Ah, so who are these dudes? The guy on the right in the red shirt is Ryan Nagel. And here we were thinking that he was one of the least biased witnesses who had testified in the trial today. Turns out he's anything but impartial. He's hanging out on the street there in front of d &E Pizza with Julie Nagel and the Albert crew. Dude in the blue shirt is his brother. He was just moments before this photograph feeling up Aidan Kearney's girlfriend, asking her why she's hanging out with a dipstick like him. When, of course, she could be with a fabulously handsome and polite young man like that. Instead, taking lessons from Higgy and how to pick up girls, maybe? There's Aiden arriving at the restaurant. Oh, yes, and parents of the year. How could we forget? On the left, we have Chris Albert, member of the select board of Canton, and soccer mom of the year, Julie Albert, psycho chicken's sister, such a perfectly normal family photo. <laughs> okay, here's one I'm not familiar with. This dude here with the impossibly small ears and the telltale bald head is not someone we've seen testify at trial. Yet his baldness tells me that he is significant somehow. Turns out he's the one who tried to get Karen Reed's bail revoked by saying that she was driving around O'Keefe's house and violating a stay-away order. Turns out she was shooting for an ABC 2020 episode, so she was well within the guidelines of the stay-away order. Turns out his name is Mark Grossman, so a message to all the locals, look out for this dude. <laughs> not somebody you can trust. Hmm, seems like Total Boy's not the only one that's a target. I had reported in previous videos that the locals were feeling unsafe, and this is a perfect example of why. How does Mr. Albert know who is following the case? Why is Mr. Albert paranoid about locals following the case? I don't remember Lindy Chamberlain or Joanne Lees doing any of this shady shit when the media was stalking them. Does he have some sort of special privileges because he's a Canton Select Board member? Maybe? Taking a picture is instigating? No, Colin was leaving and then he decided Taking to a picture? So you're, so what? He came up so what? To what did I do? He came we up to us. On we were walking in. Justice for Peter Berger. You'll beat my fate. You'll. You could, right? You seem really intimidated. You seem really intimidated. I'm glad you said that on film. I'm glad you said that on film. Oh, really? They got see. Just in case you were entitled to feel bad for these people at all, this is who they really are. Look at these animals. Look at these goons. Look at these goons. 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 I'm actually with somebody in the... I don't know. I feel like she's somebody. I know. Under Armour, it's gay as shit. I know. It's gay. I'm so gay. Actually, I'm not the... I don't think I'm a bum. For what kid? I don't know, Colin. I feel like of the two of us, I'd be a little more worried about jail if I was you, son. I don't know. I'm just saying, I feel like I'm going to be good. Yeah. I, are you scared? I thought you were intimidated. 
I'm, I'm just trying to eat dinner, bro. I'm just trying to eat dinner. I come out here, there's a goon. Well, you got assaulted by your goons. Call the, the can police now. This has been going on 11 minutes. Call the police. 11 minutes. Yeah. Call the can police. Tell them to come down here. We got a video of Jim Farris assaulting me on video. So. Yeah, it's been 11 minutes. Yeah. Now. They show up really fast when they call. So, because. So, why is your wife taking video? Am I in America? Am I in America? I'm in America. Yeah, we're just trying to. I, I just came out of. I just got dinner and I come outside and I got assaulted by Jim Farris. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. Yeah, look, nine people were arrested for protesting outside of DE Pizza. On the say so of Chris Albert, and these guys have to wait more than 20 minutes for the police to arrive after being actually assaulted. Only for the police to turn around and say, it doesn't matter, you got it on camera. We didn't see it, so we're not arresting anybody. Uh, yeah, that's not bias much, is it? No wonder people in Canton don't feel safe. Anywho, that's my little 10-minute scroll on Twitter today and a bunch of information that I learnt from Twitter that I couldn't learn on mainstream media sources. And, of course, the only toxicity that I discovered along the way was these loud mouths screaming their nuts off at people simply eating at CF McCarthy's. You want to know why? Because I use the block and ignore buttons for what they're intended for. To block and ignore the toxicity. Yay X.